Hello again, songwriters. Woo! In this video, we are answering another one of your biggest garage band questions. And today's question comes from Foof182, a Reddit reader who asked, are there any must know keyboard shortcuts that you can point out? And yes, indeed, there certainly are some really handy and usable keyboard shortcuts that I'm gonna show you in GarageBand. In a minute, we'll get into a handful of keyboard shortcuts that I use in the context of my songwriting production process. But for now, I wanna to reveal to you my top five must know GarageBand keyboard shortcuts. Number five. This may be oversimplistic, but the space bar plays or pauses your project. Number four. Hitting the C button brings up the cycle region, which allows you to loop a part over and over and over. Number three. When you highlight a region and put the playhead at the right spot, you can then hit Command T to split the region. Number two. Simply hit the R button to start recording. Number one. Hit Command CFA for instant Chick-fil-A. Okay, not really, but I'm really pulling for that one in the next GarageBand update. The real number one. Hit Command K to bring up your musical typing feature, which allows you to control all of your MIDI instruments using your typing keyboard. So now that you know my big five, I wanna show you these and a few more shortcuts in the context of my songwriting and music production workflow. This is how I actually use them when I'm going through a project. First is the writing phase. And obviously I'm gonna use Command K to work out different MIDI instrument parts. Then I might hit C for cycle, just so I can hear a part of the song over and over and work out an idea without having to hit start and stop. Next is the recording phase. And I might start out by hitting K to bring up my metronome. Then obviously I'll hit R to record. And then I'll hit space bar to stop the recording when I'm done. Then I might even hit command Z to undo that take and then use the comma and the period to move back and forth to the place in the project where I wanna start recording again. Next comes the editing phase where I'll hit the E button to bring up the edit window. I also know that I can double click on a region to bring up the edit window on a specific performance. Then after that, if I need to copy and paste something, obviously I'll hit command C and command V. But if I needed to split a region to work on it in more detail, I would highlight the region, put the playhead in the right spot and hit command T to split. Then lastly, is the mixing phase. I'll start by hitting C to bring up the cycle region so I can listen to a specific part of the song over and over. Then I'll hit B to bring up my smart controls window so I can affect some of my tracks. Then lastly, I'll hit A to bring up the automation lanes so that I can manually adjust volume and effects. So there you have it. Lots of really handy and usable keyboard shortcuts. Now there are tons more keyboard shortcuts, but these are just the ones that I use on a daily basis. If you wanna learn about more GarageBand keyboard shortcuts, I'm gonna put a link in the description below and you can go find every GarageBand shortcut under the sun. This is Dean from the Songwriting Studio, signing out and encouraging you not just to watch me talk to you about making music, but to actually go use this stuff and make some meaningful music.